Hey, my name's Justin, and this is The Art of Repair. And today, we need to talk. What do we need to talk about? We need to talk about very dangerous Chinese chemicals, okay? I have this stuff here. It's a, it's a very interesting product. It's I assume it's called Oka Cleaner for LCD. It also may be called Cleaner Oka for LCD. And I'll let you check it out here. It's made by, mm, what is it, M Triangle. And I'm going to be perfectly honest, y'all need to go ahead and just change your name to M Triangle because that's just too much. You know what I'm saying? Like, I've already got a machine made by them and it drives me nuts. Um, anyway, back on topic here, dangerous chemicals. So in the race to clean off Oka as fast as possible or Loka, whatever kind of adhesive or whatever you're doing, we sometimes forget to read what's on the package. Now, this most of the time already happens enough in you know your own native tongue that you know it's just kind of life but when something's in another language you might want to at least just check it out you know what i'm saying like hit it with the translator app just one time okay because some of the stuff coming in the country only gets here you know by sheer luck okay this uh, this cleaner right here actually took two to three times to uh, to come through, and you know I was obviously given every excuse under the sun except for the fact that it contained dichloromethane. Okay, look at the back of this thing. There are warnings everywhere. Now, I I'm very cautious with my chemicals. I I like to look into every single one of them. Um, dichloromethane is actually pretty dangerous. Um, it's definitely not meant for any kind of like long work day. Uh, I mean, you can use this stuff like once or twice, you know, and be okay. And, you know, as long as you're not trying to use it too often. But the problem is a lot of us use this stuff every single day, all day. Okay. And I'm not specifically talking about this. I'm just talking about, you know, adhesive removers in general, or, you know, just other chemical solutions that we use in our, you know, day to day lives as technicians. But it's super duper important that you check into that stuff. Okay. Not not just for you, but especially if you have employees working for you and you already don't have them wearing gloves anyway, okay? Which you should be doing. Everybody needs to be wearing gloves, okay? But that's a whole nother video and I've already made that one, so you only go check that one out. Um, but everybody needs to be looking at every single chemical that comes into their shop, okay? You need to look at the chemicals list and I wanna share something with you called MSDS, okay? MSDS means Material Safety Data Sheet. MSDS, okay? For every single chemical that you have in your shop, in your house, whatever, it's always recommended that you print out a hard copy of your MSDS data sheet. Why? These things have a lot of really good information. For one, they definitely talk about the toxicity. They definitely let you know this is going to kill you, okay? When I first bought this thing and I realized what was going on, I just let all my friends know right off the bat. But that was way before the YouTube channel. So, you know, I was I picked it up the other day and, you know, it, it kind of came up as a topic of discussion in the last 24 hours. And I was like, you know, I, I better say something, you know. And on top of that, you know, there's a lot of other chemicals out there, a lot of other things that are being brought over that, you know, people haven't looked at yet. And there's all kinds of ridiculous stuff that can get you sick in it. Okay, so always look up the chemical plus MSDS on Google, hard copy print it out, and make sure you have it for everybody to view, okay? Not only that, that just creates a, a better, safer work environment, okay? I mean, me personally, I have a, I have like a clipboard that's like super duper thick, okay? It's got all the MSDS data sheets on it for everything that I have. Now, personally, I don't use a lot of different chemicals now. I've, I've pretty much come to the end of the road on that. You know, I've either you know, figured out how to concoct and mix my own solutions for certain situations, or I have found non-toxic solutions that work fantastic. And just to go ahead and clear it all right now, the answer to the adhesive remover question is delimiting. I'll put a link down in the description. Get the right one, okay? Get something safe. And to be honest, this one actually kind of smells good and it's safe. So, you know, that tirade right out of the way there, just pay attention to what's coming in your shop, okay? You gotta be safe. You gotta be safe for you, you gotta be safe for your employees, you gotta be safe for your business. Look into this stuff, print out the MSDS, 
read the MSDS, and follow all the safety precautions. It really is necessary, okay? So hey, I really hope you learned something today. In fact, if you uh, liked the video, go and hit right over down there and hit the like button. And if you're not already subscribed and you wanna start checking out all my stuff weekly, just head on over to the other side and hit subscribe. Now, if you are super about it and you wanna learn everything that I'm trying to teach, whoop, boom, hit that notification bell, all right? It's really important. That way, every single time I upload something, it pops up right on your phone, your computer, whatever you're doing, all right? And hey, check it out. Maybe you have an opinion about what I'm doing right now. Or maybe you even used my technique on a repair and it worked for you. If any of these things apply to you, or maybe you just wanna say hi, hit me up with a comment. I love them, seriously, I love the comments. They're my favorite. Every time I get one on my phone, I'm like, oh yeah. And if you are one of those people that is about to look me up on Instagram um, to ask me what equipment I use, well guess what, I already got you. Don't even worry about it. Hit the description, boom, right down at the bottom has everything in a big old list. If there's something that I didn't put on there, then hit me up on Instagram, the phone god, check out my stuff, then hit me up and let me know what you need. And don't forget, I'm Justin, and this is The Art of Repair.